welcome back now your boy with this adam's link welcome back to another crazy video guys and uh please try as much as possible to like this video comment share it all should platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam's link media make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and also check out my new channel original nigeria ninja boy or simply ninja boy and meanwhile we are in nigeria and you know a lot of things happen every day we wake up to new things and uh, honestly i wish i can just uh upload more like making three video a day because of a lot a lot of things that are happening that i need to keep up with but uh, i won't i will still keep to my two videos per day and uh, one of those things that happened yesterday is about bob Risky and the uh, actress ikechi so yesterday they had a fight and honestly actress ikechi started this whole fight because she was the one that mentioned bob Risky name first she was responding to a fan and she mentioned Bob Risky's name. So Bob Risky saw it and they immediately blasted her and they started fighting each other on social media. And meanwhile, you know, these are guests fight. One of the things that actually caught my attention is about Momfa, the Nigeria, the Nigeria big boy based in Dubai. And uh, he's married with two kids. Apparently, EKG said Momfa and Bob Risky are having a sexual relationship so otherwise uh, Momfa is a bisexual even Momfa was forced to respond to these particular allegations he said now nah, you now papa be bisexual stupid people always fast to see someone down for well in case she was the one that brought this up saying that Bobriski and Momfa were having are having some kind of relationship and meanwhile Ikenchi alleged that she also had a relationship with Monfa. That means Monfa may have possibly banged both Bobriski and Ikechi but Monfa said see it's not a bisexual that is never banged uh Bobriski and meanwhile but what about Ikechi he never respond to mm -hmm. that though. So they had a really strong fight yesterday over this tattoo saga. This old tattoo saga. I wouldn't want to let me just read what uh, Bobriski said. She said, Ikenchi, don't implicate an innocent man to your rubbish. Everyone know Momfa is a philanthropist. He is a nice man to everyone. Sad how you are trying to twist your rubbish around him. Momfa's wife knows me and she know I'm just a good friend to him. Just because you are trying to get to, try and get to me, you want to scatter someone else home and pass wrong information out now let me make it clear to everyone that in, that this is mike your so-called boyfriend in the state that is making you go mad at me not mofa mike is not married now well guys uh well let us move past that because they have actually they have they have not uh shaded each other for today but yesterday was hot between these two uh artists as an artist <laughs> between these two socialists because AKG hardly at Miwa Bob Briski is one of uh top Nigeria Instagram socialists so they keep having this fight. Meanwhile I don't know if this is a good advice. Uh this lady said ever had sex with a condom from the fridge try it and thank me later. Ever had sex with a condom from the fridge? Try it and thank me later. Damn <laughs> my Instagram. See man, I've never heard of this kind of thing before, but this might be a new discovery. And honestly, I will be damned if I say I won't try this. I'm gonna try it. Like this game may have had experience, but I'm still gonna try it. But I think the woman will be more of a benefit than the man but all the same i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it and i'll ask the lady uh, how do you feel <laughs> does it feel good <laughs> no man it's like every day we learn every day you know on social media at least honestly leave your comment below are you going to try this or not or have you tried it so leave your comment below guys about a uh, relationship yes a man this, this happened in South Africa. So this man had allegedly bought a, a built a house for his girlfriend 
and this uh, girlfriend decided to end the relationship with him this part this particular man decided to end the relationship with him you know what this guy did this guy brought tractor and destroyed the house he built for this lady and uh, this particular video caused a lot of controversial statement online yesterday a lot of people support it and a lot of people don't support it and honestly honestly from the bottom of my heart guys the only person that i won't do this to is my wife if she was my wife and she decided to end the marriage i won't hurt her i won't collect anything from her but a mere girlfriend guys a girlfriend who has no child for me i'm telling you i'm gonna do break the house down sorry yeah that is me but you can as well leave your opinion on what you're gonna do because i cannot build you build, build a whole house for you you break up with me and i will just go and you will be bringing men to the house the house that i built possibly i bought all the furniture in the house even the bed come on man i'm not gonna have rest of mind seriously go and get your apparently that land belongs to the girl meanwhile the house was built furnished by the man so even some people will say oh sue the man to court how are you gonna sue him to court he owns the house you own the land so uh, according to somebody who is following this case he said a follow theory of commons law the land is hers and the property is his either she pays for the property or he removes it in her land yeah commons law the land is hers and the house is his if the woman want to keep the property she should pay for the property and apparently after the whole breakup this woman put this house on sale she put this house on sale for 1 million rand 1 million 15 thousand rand she already put the house on sale then this guy came man and break down the house <laughs> That is the guy, guys, and uh, please kindly leave a comment. Do you support him or not? There is a lady who was recently shot dead though, by a boyfriend of just one week. A boyfriend of just one week. According to the person who posted this, is the girl's sister. She is 27 years old. She said, my sister just got shot today. And she didn't make it she left behind two boys three and four years old was part was part of she got shot by a boyfriend she meant last week i'm so numb i can't breathe god why she didn't deserve it at all only 27 years old just graduated and got her dream job now a man decided to kill her just like that we spoke last night it was goodbye my best friend confident gone confident just gone just like that boys had left with no mother i'm trying to be strong but i can't i just lost a simple over gbv are we even going to win this gbv war i don't know what gbv means uh, well uh this girl the guy that he just meant a week ago, this guy ended his life. And this lady was formerly had, she had two children, a, a two boys, which were between the age of three and four years old. Three and four years old. This is all the call for Frankman to fire. For Frankman to fire. Well, talking about relationship, I had the chance to witness, I loved uh, the interview between Mercy Johnson and Lee Bensey. And uh, I just want to share you some of what they talked about, about feminism and about cheating. So let's watch them both. This is both ways now. So just before, because our planting is almost ready, just before we go in for tasting, I want to know, at least, are you a feminist? I am, I am not, I'm sorry to say. I am not. I just believe in the woman that I am, that, has got, that God has made me to be. I believe I have an inner strength. I have an inner mental ability that the other does not have. And so I build on it. I live with it. And I progress in it 
just be who God has called you to, made you to be. And you won't need the words feminism or feminist. You won't need it. And you will see a lot of things just um, lay out there, you know, open up for you. Oh, God, this is something into the fire. Okay. If by adventure I catch Odiano Selkoji, my husband, with a side chick, a girl, if I move out, is that okay? Allow me to say, God forbid. Yes. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> no. If you catch your spouse <laughs> committing something, you know, like you said, you, I think they call it side chicks now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they have a title. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the answer or the next step is not to be out of it. But you're going to draw that power that is inside of you and treat it in a more wise way mentally emotionally and spiritually you hear that <laughs> so normal me said that when she came here there's no way she's leaving the house for anybody to move into <laughs> so you, even when i get him doing the wrong thing we will work on it you walk on so uh, firstly responding to this feminist of a thing that they talked about this is what the lady said she said i'm here to remind this e-feminist that i will cook three times daily for my husband unless he choose to let me rest <laughs> well uh feminists i don't know what you guys see nigeria is not a place for feminism feminist or feminism just uh because nigeria feminists just only preach preach sorry just only preach it feminism is good well, i'm not saying it's not it's not good but our nigeria feminist eh they preach they are, they are preaching is girls going sleeping around somewhere like tokimakiwa sleeping around and uh, they preach on the uh, uh girls eating men that is just what they preach about but uh going to the marriage part eh, eh? I know it's somehow difficult. I'm not married before, so I wouldn't want to. I don't know exactly what to say because I've never been in your shoes. But honestly, ah, uh, honestly, are you going to leave your house for another woman to take over? I've said that the only time that I will advise any woman to leave her husband is uh, the other time I talk about one. Now I've made it two. Firstly, is when is physically abusive. Physically abusive and emotionally abusive, like physically and uh, emotionally, in, in 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 the sense of uh, he talks anyhow. He cannot control his mouth. He can abuse you in public. He can disrespect you in public. Please leave that relationship. Also, if that man can satisfy you, please leave. No, just kill yourself. Uh, see don't kill yourself there are men who have this as pecker as slim like this pecker as slim like this so tell me how are you gonna enjoy that tell me is that possible but uh, that these are the only two things that i think that warrant that i will support any woman to break up or leave her marriage seriously but uh girlfriend taking over what no man you fight for your own as long as the man is respectful and I uh, provides and he do all the necessary things that he need to do. And the leader EKG's sister Laura recently shared our own advice concerning a uh, similar issue as well. This is what she said. I just feel like just go go with the flow. If you find somebody you love and you don't have money, still marry her. Still marry her. And things might work out eventually. That's my opinion. So you just sitting down and waiting for uh, one billion naira to fall down before you get married is just it's flimsy excuse i just feel so you know so you shouldn't be single at 40 if you find if you found your love you shouldn't be single at i think 35 if you found your love money should not be a problem or a barrier that's my personal opinion the uh one of the best opinion that i've ever had from uh, laura ekg and uh, also here is a lady that was recently arrested not in nigeria though the one of the things that attracted me to this particular news is the size of this lady so big 
big big nyash this lady allegedly slept with a 13 years old boy she is 23 big size and she slept with a 13 years old boy she was in the heart when the 30 years old boy my mom came in and caught them and immediately called the police on the girl let us be frank this is franco why is it that then it doesn't gain this public acknowledgement when this kind of stuff happens. Let us say if it happens to a 13 years old girl, do you think will be so? Uh, do you think I will be laughing about it? Because I'm, I'm somehow in my mind, I'm somehow like it's a bad thing, but I'm somehow happy laughing about it. I, I think you are feeling the same way too. But the way that I will respond to this particular news when it involves a 20 years old girl eh, i would be so sad so mad but now i'm happy since it's a guy why is it like that uh, why is it that uh, men don't pass through this kind of things as well is it that men women don't sexually abuse men or don't sexually abuse their uh, little kids like 13 14 12 Huh? Is, is it that it's all right? Well, I saw it. I'm like, okay, let me bring this here, and that uh, we already know. If 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 we all come outside and we be like, we want to be truthful for once, or the guys here, and that uh, we say, okay, let us share our story of our first, the first ever time we ever lived with a woman. Mm. Me, I have my own story. Oh. I have my own story, and. Uh, it was so so young i can never forget that day it's not even when i was 16 it was not even when i was 14 it was not even when i was 13 it was not even when i was 15 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 it's my present age it's not even that it was way way below and i can still remember and we already know i don't want to go there let us forget about that guys let me talk about this particular stuff and uh, this happened to nigeria copper her name is uh, informer you guys recall i once in my videos talk about this particular informer copper police came to a man's a guy's house apparently the guy is a drug dealer police came there they didn't see the guy and they arrested this copper who is allegedly the guy's girlfriend in the guy's house and they took her to the station upon take it out, taking her out to the station few a day later they reported that the guy the lady died of cocaine overdose well after uh, uh, autopsy it has been discovered that the police actually lied there was no trace of any cocaine in our system there was no trace of any cocaine in our system the news was reported today by leader EKG I talked about this some times ago according to the doctor let me just read some of the news to say testifying before the panel on Wednesday the doctor Amemiko who conducted the autopsy on the late informer informed the panel that the body was brought to the UATH for post mortem two weeks after death and that up that that an autopsy carried back negative for cocaine over overdose. I asked them was she taking or selling but they said nothing. When a urine test was conducted to ascertain if it was an intake of cocaine that led to her death, it all shown negative. He further told the panel that in this, in the course of carrying out the autopsy, dried, dried sperm were noticed in her vagina of the disease, adding that it was not clear if the sperm were from sexual assault. Why? In the police custody or from our fiancé since they were living together this particular girl the police lie say 
this girl overdosed on cocaine. Oh, that's why she died. Then later on, the autopsy indicated that she never took that stuff and they find dried sperm in her. So the doctor, of course, he said he doesn't know if it was from a boyfriend or from any of the police. Those police that were there, those policemen that went to arrest her, arrest her boyfriend that saw her there, they took her. All of them should all go under, all, all of them should all go uh, test. See, <laughs> you, you, you guys already know the way I feel about some police people. So I wouldn't want to just talk. May I so rest in peace and by the special grace of God, she's going to find justice. She will get justice by the special grace of God. Her spirit is working. Her spirit is not just uh, just anybody that you can just take like that and then uh, you go free. Her spirit is working and she, she will definitely haunt those people. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Before I end this video, guys, let's talk about one incident. A lady is narrating this issue. Let's listen to her clearly. I think uh, it very, very is this issue is very, very important. Shan, a Chinese lady, myself, and an Estonian, and we're just talking. And the next thing, where are you from? Okay, I'm from Nigeria. Oh, and the Chinese girl went on to say, yes, I used to work in Nigeria for at least a year. I was a translator. I translated from Chinese to English, English back to Chinese. I worked for this guy who had a company where they burn car batteries, but then he wasn't allowed to operate in China. And the next thing that he did was to come to Nigeria to start up this company that were burning car batteries to produce mercury for electronics. He transported back these mercuries to China for for them to make this electronics back there in China and the funny thing is that he has bribed his way to start this economy this company bribed his way for cheap labor bribed his way for the detriment of the future of Nigerians this company is in Lagos one of the largest city in Nigeria and there is a company that born car batteries that is going to lead to serious outbreak of cancer in the next 10 to 15 years this is something that we should really talk about but we're not talking about because somebody with money has bribed the economy of that place of people cabals of that place at the detriment of people she talked about the inhuman treatment that was why she even left she said somebody was fixing the roof at the company and he fell a black man that the guy she even talked about no ambulance she said in nigeria you can't get ambulance that's so pathetic i didn't know what to say she said when the guy fell the guy was struggling for his life till he died because there was no ambulance she said they wanted to take the guy and put in the bus car the bus said no blood should touch his car and it was through that back and forth that the guy died she said she was so pained because the boss was inhuman that is why she left the company and went to dubai to work but then she was talking about the fact that in china where she came from that company was not allowed to work why is it working in nigeria and i said no i am going to talk about it some other day what the nigerian economy is doing to nigerians because the people who collect this bribe don't stay in nigeria the people who exchange the the the, the future of nigerians for nonsense burning of car batteries don't stay there they're in canada they're in the uk they are in an in this in a in an economy where it works where they think about their climate they think about the people not nigerians where somebody comes and take millions you no know, go better for you now you know me that you know they collect money at the same time you guys are destroying the future our health as well hmm? is nigeria a dumb site <laughs> is nigeria a site where they can pro produce any carbon any thing and then import it abroad is that what you guys do now in china they don't allow this particular company to burn car batteries to produce mercury they say no we don't allow that because of the health he, this company came to lagos nigeria started burning car battery then importing that the same mercury to china that rejected it automatically it only means that nigeria is a dumb site <laughs> crazy ah you know go better for you now you know better for you now you know children too you know go better for them you know children 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 you know go see better for them that is just the fact that is just the fact it must come back to you it will haunt your spirit for those of you, at least chopping money no even do you now. Yet you guys want to continue. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy, Vietnam's link. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye. Have a wonderful day.